Hello and welcome to Midwits Made Simple. In this video, you are gonna learn about osteosarcoma, a bone tumor. If you are new to my channel, first of all, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out any of my upcoming videos. Osteosarcoma is a malignant tumor. It is the most common primary malignant tumor of bone. It has a bimodal age distribution. The first peak is in the children and adolescents in the second decade age group. Then it is commonly seen in elderly population where there is the second peak. It is more common in men than women. In the first peak when it is occurring in children and adolescents, it is usually primary osteosarcoma, means it arises directly without any pre-existing conditions. In the second peak when it is occurring in elderly, it is commonly a secondary osteosarcoma, means it arises from some pre-existing conditions like Paget's disease or some pre-existing bone tumors like osteochondroma or osteoblastoma, which changes to osteosarcoma. It usually occurs in the metaphysis region above the growth plate and commonest around the knee in distal femur and proximal tibia. Symptoms are pain and swelling which is usually rapidly progressive and many patients might develop pathological fracture by a very trivial trauma and if the patients develop metastasis they have symptoms related to the metastasis for example cough, chest pain and hemoptysis is seen in cases of pulmonary metastasis. Histopathologically, there is osteoid matrix production by the bone tumor cells. These cells are of varying size and shape. They have large hyperchromatic nuclei and increased mitotic figures are noted, as such as the malignant potential of the tumor. The neoplastic bone thus formed newly has a fine lace-like appearance and sometimes abnormal giant cells might be seen also. RB gene, also known as retinoblastoma gene mutation, can increase the risk for developing osteosarcoma by 1000 times. Similarly, P53 mutations, which causes leaf from any syndrome, and this have significant increase in risk of osteosarcoma. INK4A inactivation, MDM2 overexpression, CDK4 overexpression can all lead to development of osteosarcoma as well. The definitive diagnosis is by biopsy, however, imaging is required for diagnosing the extent of the disease, metastasis, etc. Periosteal reaction is often seen in osteosarcoma, one of which is quadrant triangle, where the periosteum is lifted off from the bone surface, appearing like a triangle. It is, however, not specific to osteosarcoma. There is usually extensive destruction of cortex and medulla of the bone, and sunburst appearance might be seen in some cases. MRI is required to identify the extent of tumor, soft tissue involvement and encasement of nearby vas neurovascular structures, which all helps in planning the surgical resection. HRCT thorax helps in identifying pulmonary metastasis. About 20% people might have pulmonary metastasis at the time of diagnosis of osteosarcoma itself. The management principle is usually to try the best to salvage the limb. So initially, chemotherapy is given before surgery, followed by which the tumor shrinks in size and it is called downstaging the tumor. Then this chemotherapy is called neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Then the surgery is done. Following the surgery, the remaining cycles of chemotherapy are given to complete the cycles. One of the common regimens is MAP regimen which includes methotrexate, adriamycin which is also called as toxorubicin and cisplatin. Limb salvage surgery is done when we can achieve negative margins and the tumor is resectable. Endoprosthesis or implants which are used to fit in the gap or void thus created by resecting the tumor which will give a functional limb for the patient. If the limb could not be salvaged as in negative margins could not be achieved while salvaging the limb then amputation at appropriate level has to be done. Osteosarcoma is a radioresistant tumor. It is not very sensitive to radiotherapy. Hence, it can be used as a palliative therapy when the tumors are undesectable. Great job on making it till the end of the video. If you want more videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now. You can watch my entire playlist on bone tumors by clicking here. Check out my study with me channel by clicking here. Check out my other videos by clicking here. And subscribe to my channel so you won't regret later. Trust me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.